What's going on, everybody? So today I have a really interesting discussion topic for all of you. Now, this is not my work by any means. I want to start off with that. Um, over, I want to say three weeks ago, I did a collab with Fastidious, and uh, he mentioned a little bit about this at the time, which I was really interested in seeing the results. And he has since posted a couple of videos and done an amazing job on it. I'm not here to react to any of his videos or anything like that. I'll put some of them in the description and comment section down below so you guys can check those out. He did an amazing job on all of the math and diving into all the specific numbers. If you're interested in that, I'll give you a little sneak peek here because um, I had been reading this document over the past you know, couple of weeks just because I thought it was really, really interesting to read. But this really goes into the numbers of things and I'll leave this down below. Um, with all of Fastidious's content here, so you guys can check this out. What I'm here to talk about is kind of the, I guess you'd say, normie implications that affect you and I uh, because of this. Now, if you had told me about something like, hey, the information you're receiving in game is a little bit off and there's something behind the scenes that is a little bit different than what they're telling you at face value. If you had told me that, a year ago, I would have sound like, sure, buddy, like, give me a bigger sample size. Let me see the actual proof. Now, in this case, we do have it. But even at the beginning, I wouldn't have believed anything like this. But a long time ago, about a year over a year ago, which is why I said about a year ago, um, I was playing this other gotcha game and someone had kind of brought up this idea. It was like, hey, I seem to be rolling flat stats more so than any other a stat inside the game. So for example, if I were to look at this piece, perfect. Instead of rolling crit rate attack percentage at the same chance that you're rolling defense percentage and defense, they were rolling flat defense more than the attack percentage or crit rate percentage or the defense percentage. Basically flat stats rolled higher than defense or percentage stats. And I was like, huh, that's weird, but it's just RNG. You remember the bad things more so than you remember the good things. That's typically true, but it turns out a couple weeks later, we find out that it actually is embedded within the game that you were like 25% more likely to roll flat stats over percentage stats. And at that time, it completely blew any sort of idea I had in terms of, okay, take everything in gotcha games at face value because they're the ones coming up with the numbers. Whether it was a mistake or purposely intentional to kind of throw you off the scent and give you worse value than some of the things that you're getting in the game, well, that's up for you to decide. However, this game has an exact same thing going on, but perhaps even worse. Well, depends on how you look at things, because this pertains to the summon count. Now, before we dive into specifically what this is, first off, Watch of Realms does not have the best track record. <laughs> for those of you that have been playing for a long time, now I hadn't necessarily played the game, but I'd followed the game with uh, uh, Ma Bucket's channel. And for a long time, the guy's been covering the game forever. And I was kind of interested in the game uh, while I was playing Diablo 4 and all the other stuff. But this little drop rate indicator that shows you the lore drop rates, the legendary, uh, regular legendary, epic lord, epic. This used to not exist. And in fact, it was all kind of under the same category. So you'd see the 8% chance here and the 0.5% um, chance here. And it would just be the same same number for both the Lords and the regular characters. So people assumed it would be the, wait, I can just get a Lord, same chance I get the regular Epic, but people were not dropping those at the same rate. Obviously so, as you can see from the true drop rates right here. Whether that, again, that was intentional or not is up for you to decide. My guess is that it is because that's typically how gotcha games want to get you to spend more money. However, right now, the problem is we're seeing a vast majority of certain epics and certain characters being summoned more than others. Now, I personally have experienced this at a lighter level. And it's one of the reasons why I didn't necessarily kind of jump to any conclusions. I didn't go ahead and try to gather the entire community around this like Fastidious did, which was an amazing idea. With the 1300 summons that I've pulled, I have noticed a very, very heavy skew towards certain epics over others. And mind you, 
with all these summons, I have the vast majority of the epics in the game, excluding a couple of the random epics and some of the uh, epic lords, like Pyros, for example. So while I may not have everything in the game i do have a good idea of kind of how these certain characters show up and a perfect example of this is actually anna who seemingly and i'll just pull this up as a quick reference here seemingly has a little bit of a decrease in terms of rates from all the other epics you can see here she's near the bottom compared to let's say Medon and Vortex at the top. Now, this is, again, a bunch of the numbers behind things and the, the amount of sample size you could see on this. But just from my own personal summoning, I have gotten several Vortex. I've gotten several Barons, an amazing amount of them. And yet, I had not summoned a single Anna, period, right? And uh, this is just potentially RNG, which is why I didn't jump to any conclusion. But when you're dealing with thousands, tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of summon in terms of sample size, you start to see a little bit of a trend. And at that point, you can't really ignore the numbers. And that's where the implications for a lot of the, as I said, the normies out there, the people who are just kind of chilling, having a good time and summoning four characters. Because a lot of people, to one degree, are playing this free to play. And they're seemingly looking at some of these rates and seeing an equal opportunity for a lot of these different characters. And yet behind the scenes, they're not. So when they see, let's say, a 10x chance on Anna, as I've said in previous videos, maybe that's a 10x that you might want to go for. But in reality, you're not really getting a 10x, right? Because the rates are with the 10x, potentially the same as a normal epic. So it's kind of a, not a little bit, it's very deceiving right and i think that's the biggest implication for a lot of free to play players because obviously you're not spending real money to go ahead and go for some of the characters obviously if you're summoning on the 2x banner then well you're not getting any specific downside besides just the general downside that well the character isn't actually what it says it is in terms of rates but expand this even further to people who like me might have spent some money to earn a specific character i guess not necessarily earn but spend for a specific character especially on those 10 x's where you're going to see a vastly different kind of sample size towards the epics that you are summoning and perhaps miss out on that one epic that you're going for now this is a huge problem within the game having the summon rates displayed is one thing having the wrong summon display uh, rates displayed is another right there are a lot of games that don't display summon rates that's fine i guess it's kind of industry standard now i remember when summoners war did not have summon rates displayed and people were like yeah you got to display summon rates and ever since then i think that was like back in like 2017 or something like that um, ever since then any game i've really played has displayed summon rates and yet if you display the summon rates and they're just wrong, people are using that information to either spend money or potentially, uh, you know, plan around it if you're free to play. And either way you slice it, even if you're not spending any money, that is extremely, extremely deceptive from the developers. And this absolutely needs to be fixed. And that's really the main reason that I wanted to make this video is Yes, I'm only a small portion of whatever community I have in Watcher of Realms, but this is not something that should be ignored. And I think everyone should bring some sort of attention to it, however much they can. Fastidious and his crew that devised the, the whole document and all the work they've done on it have done a far better job than I could ever do in this situation. But... I wanted to add my thoughts as well as kind of my, I guess throw my hat in the ring, you know, put out a video, getting the developers to potentially notice because, well, I am technically part of the content creator program. So anything that I can do to kind of get this some more noise is what I'd want to do. It really is disappointing to kind of see this type of thing in the game because the worst thing you want to do is have something like this and then never being able to trust the game ever again because that's kind of in a state that we're in, 
Um, and, and it's never going to be repaired because it's already happened inside the game. When that happened in Awakening Chaos Era, when I was playing that game, it was literally every single other thing that I saw in the game. Hey, is the crit chance saying, or is what it says it is. Like if I have 60% crit chance, am I actually critting 60% of the time? Um, am I actually getting the summon rights that I am getting? Am I actually rolling gear with the chances equal to all the other chances? Like in this game, uh, am I equivalently likely to get a high roll on crit chance versus flat defense i'll never trust the game anymore because they've already shown to be slightly deceptive um, or immensely deceptive depending on your perspective towards the summon rates and so this does expand the rest of the game so while i'm not saying that they're again purposefully doing it necessarily that doesn't erase the doubt that a lot of people will have because of this and so I encourage you all to be on the lookout. You know, I will myself kind of, especially with the gear, because it's something that uh, I've already had happen to me before. So any game that happens, I've already, I've always been on the lookout, but especially since this game has already done something similar, I'm definitely going to keep an even closer eye on this type of stuff. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all for the next one.